as the navigator and I meet delivery driver Tom, a man approaches us and wants to engage. We are exiting the new Acura Integra, while Tom has been waiting for us in an ebony twilight Sierra Denali we are about to receive, the utter blackness of the massive truck almost menacing. The visitor is smitten by the GMC, craving it for his work, his young family. But when the Acura parks between him and the Sierra, his lust changes to personal satisfaction. He instantly knows that the Integra is all new, and he just has to inspect the details. Telling him it is just a pricier Civic does not dim his enthusiasm. Such are the frequent encounters when you meet at the Shell Station. After visiting all of the principals, we point the big Sierra south on the main turnpike, stroking the diesel up to pace the quickest vehicles. This is an easy task, the 445 horsepower, 6.7 liter Duramax V8 turbo diesel, quickly settles into a high speed rhythm that barely moves the tachometer needle. Two average sized citizens aren't much of a load for this 4 ton luxury workhorse. GMC has fast become GM's luxury drug division, trying to put some distance between its sibling brand, Chevrolet. The age of electronic driving aids and vast entertainment options, all of the pieces that devour computer chips, has certainly helped. However, the bean counters apparently still have a role GM, as the designer efforts evident in recent Cadillacs and the new Corvette haven't been allowed to express themselves in the Stout Sierra, as the Denali's interior lacks the panache of the most recent Ford and Ram heavy-duty truck, interiors. The plastic surfaces prevail, where others have leather, wood or suede. The touchscreen is much smaller, too, yet there are virtues to be found. The screen works as intended, as rivals are having issues, those chips and the Sierra's physical controls are conveniently placed and very user-friendly not layered in menus that are difficult to access while actually driving.